Thanks for checking out this video on Shantakai's Vibrant Oceans Limited Edition Collection. I've got the Radiant Chic Cheek and Highlighter Duo and a Lip Tint Hydrating Balm. Before going into these, I think it's important to raise awareness about the French family brand's causes that they support with these collections. Shantakai aligns their philanthropic themed collections with a cause needing a platform, offering a portion of those proceeds directly to the charities that work to conserve endangered species. In this case, whale sharks are hunted for their meat and fins, while manta rays are overfished for their gill plates used in health tonics. Find out more by watching their video, which I'll link here and in the description box. In this collection, this limited edition blush and highlighter supports Wild Aid and its mission to reduce global consumption of wildlife products, including manta rays. There's some really good ethical values behind this brand and their products. They have a PETA label of being cruelty free and they offer a range of vegan products, including these ones from the collection. They sell two versions of the Radiance Chic Cheek and Highlight Duo. One is the Rose Whale Shark, which is cooler and a bit lighter. And the one I got is the Coral Manta Ray, which is a bit warmer and deeper. The packaging is very nice. You can kind of see the print of the images on the top, but the finish is so beautiful. You can definitely see the quality on the side of the case and it feels very solid. You can definitely see the same quality inside as well. Blush and highlighter powders just look so silky and the embossed imprint on them are so well defined. The colours are so deep as well. You will see me swatch both the blush and the highlighter with my finger here, but after you will also see me swatch them with a brush. The highlighter is a lot deeper than what I'd usually use with my complexion, but you'll see when I use a highlighter brush to apply it, it will diffuse the shade to a softer look that works. I really like these shades and I think they will work beautifully with darker complexions too. So here you will get a better idea of how they will look with a swatch by brush. Hopefully you can see here that this blush is also one for building. I think the highlighter is the same, you can have a soft illuminating effect or you can build it up. I usually like dabbing the blush on so it kind of diffuses well with an even application and it doesn't interfere with my foundation. I do the same thing with the highlighter though occasionally I might glide it on if the brush is soft enough. And this is how the blush and highlighter looks. Hopefully you get a good look of the highlighter here as I move around with the light reflecting on different angles. I think this duo creates a really nice warm glow. So that's the Radiant Chic Cheek and Highlighter Duo in Coral Manta Ray. The other product in the collection is the Lip Tint Hydrating Balm. These are available in four different shades. Madeira, a sheer red. Beach Rose, a sheer pink. Verbena, a sheer plum. And Calendula, a sheer orange, which is the one I have. These lip balms are also vegan. They also last quite a while, 18 months. Another thing worth mentioning about the brand's values is that they are very much into botanicals using the best ingredients available to provide healthy, effective, natural products. Again, the packaging is very good quality. It has one of those magnetic tops that makes it very easy to click into place. For me, the calendula tint really stood out. I was very much drawn into that fresh, vibrant tint. I realised it's quite hard to see with the red background as well, so I've tried to show the colour here, in front of my palm as contrast. 
this is what the swatch looks like. It's actually a really good saturated tint for a lip balm. And the shade is really pretty. It's kind of like a soft reddish pink with a little bit of a warm tone. This is how it looks very close up. It's just a very subtle tint. The lip balm feels very moisturising and I often struggle with dry lips. So this looked and felt really good. So I think these products are high quality and it's even better that they're quite clean in the sense that they are vegan, um, there's no parabens, they're phthalate free and they're fragrance free as well as gluten free. I think this blush and highlighter duo in Coral Manta Ray is absolutely gorgeous. I love the way it's designed. In terms of wear, it pretty much lasted most of the day. With primer and setting, it definitely lasted all day and maybe a little bit more. As luxury products, they are expensive. I got these on offer so I didn't pay for the full price. I think for many people this will be too expensive for a blush and highlighter. So I looked for something similar in my blush collection and the closest I had was the gravity shade in my Luna Beauty Prism palette. This is a full blush palette in the mid to high range. So for more similar shades at a more affordable option, the number 7 match make blush in apricot blossoms might work. And Revolution may have a couple in their brand lines. There's a Revolution Reloaded blush in Coral Dreams. And their recent XX Revolution brand also has some blushes. And the most similar looking one in that range is a shade called Irony. But this Shantikai blush shade is definitely unique in my collection. And I really like the soft to buildable warm shade. The highlighter is a darker shade than I usually use, but surprisingly the glow worked well on my skin. When I looked for a similar match, I tried this new product that I got sold on offer, which is the number seven custom blend highlighter drops in rose gold. Again, it's not exactly the same, but it's a bit more satin and sheer. And I think you can build it to create a similar look. But again, the Shantikai highlighter is unique in my collection and very glowy. The Lip Tint Hydrating Balm looks and feels really good. It's glossy and moisturizing, and I'm really glad I picked up the Calendula Tint because it's really subtle but flattering. When it comes to wear, I found it was pretty much the same as other lip balms, but with the sleek design of the lip balm holder and the magnetic top, it's quite comfortable to carry around and top up when you need. Again, there's a high price point because it's a luxury product. So I'm trying to find a comparison here, and again, the closest I found was a Tarte Quench lip balm, which is in red. It's a mini in a lip balm set I have, and I'm not sure if it's still on sale. So there are a couple of tints that I think are similar on the market still. There's the Kiko Milano Colour Balm in the shade Guava and Elf have a Ride or Die Lip Balm in the shade Peachy, which might be a little more subtle. I'm glad to have the Shantikai Calendula Lip Balm in my collection though. My final overall thoughts are that these are well-designed, beautiful luxury products from a beautiful luxury brand. If you ever treat yourself to makeup like this, I definitely recommend Shantikai. Let me know what you think and if you've tried any of their products before. Comment below and thanks for watching.